That is our new incubator. I am really excited for it. We um, saved up, uh, we've been working on hatching chicks, selling them locally, and finally upgraded our incubator. We actually got the, uh, the Genesis Hubabator from Incubator Warehouse. Um, I'll leave a link down below for you to uh, check it out. I did some research. I really, really liked this incubator. It has a uh, egg turner that comes with it that is better for, um, of course it's great for incubating chicken eggs, but it's also better than the traditional conventional egg turners that you see that can be used to hatch duck eggs and geese, and geese, goose, geese, goose, geese eggs. <laughs> <laughs> um, so we're actually going to be, I have some eggs here that we have actually been collecting from our breeders. This time we're going to actually be getting a big batch of eggs going. Don't mind the mess. It's been kind of a hectic. Look at this. That is a big stack of eggs. So we're actually, let me open this, it's a little dark in here. Let's shed some light on the situation. So, so I'm gonna be getting these eggs hatched. We've got, it's kind of cool actually. So we've got our Americana eggs that we, from our breeders. Then we've got eggs from our Silkies. And this is the new one that we're hatching. We have, in addition to our bearded silkies and our splash americanas we have a cuckoo moran hen that we have lovingly referred to as miss cuckoo and she lays very lovely almost chocolate brown eggs and uh, let me see if i can maybe pivot there we go so you can kind of see them they are absolutely gorgeous now she has been running with our splash americana flock and so she's not bred to a cuckoo moran rooster. She is bred to a splash Americana rooster. So this is going to be where it gets really, really cool. This is um, genetics. Okay, we're going to get a little deep here. Not that deep, but so when you cross, of course, when you breed a blue layer to a blue layer like the Americanas or um, they have... Uh, Ericanas, or I think they call them blue whitings. You have, there's several breeds that lay true blue eggs. And what that means by true blue is that it means that every time you breed that breed to a breed that lays true blue, you are guaranteed to get a blue. So for instance, you have a, here's a perfect example. You have what's very commonly known as Easter eggers. Now Easter eggers, the breed, you'll breed them. You'll breed an Easter egger to an Easter egger and you might, in that batch, not every chick is gonna lay blue eggs. You're gonna get chicks that are gonna lay blue eggs, green eggs, pink eggs, tan, and tan eggs. So you're never guaranteed. So that means that they are not a true blue layer. So that's why we breed our Splash Americanas. Every chick that we hatch from them is going to lay a true, it's gonna lay a blue egg, true, every time. So here's where it gets really cool. If you breed a Americana to a regular light, like a tan egg layer, like a black Australorp, for instance, you are going to get an Easter Egger, which is going to lay either a blue, green, pink, or tan egg. It's that's kind of that, that is what Easter Eggers are. But if you breed a true blue layer to a true dark brown layer, you are supposed to get what's called an olive agar. And I'll share, I'll share a picture right, right here. Um, they lay, it's almost like a mossy green egg. And so we are gonna kind of try our hands at hatching out some of Miss Cuckoo's eggs where she was bred to a true blue layer. She is a true uh, dark brown layer. So we're gonna try that. And then we have one little extra lone egg that we're gonna incubate. Um, 
one of our original chickens. Her name is Speckle. She is a black Australorp. She is she is she is a pet she actually is like six or seven years old now and we got her she was actually leon's chick that he picked out years ago when we first got chickens so he requested to try and incubate one of her eggs and hatch them we don't know it's like shh, I, have, I don't get eggs from her very often i get eggs i get an egg from her probably at once every few weeks or few months so she happened to lay an egg during this period, so at Leon's request, we're gonna incubate one of one of uh, Speckle's eggs for him. Little man's in here doing his schoolwork. Hey, Leon, you wanna help me with uh, getting those eggs in the incubator? Sure. Come on, let's go. So we're gonna we've let the incubator run. Um, 24 hours to let it uh, settle, make sure that the temperature is running great. So far, I actually am really happy with this incubator because it comes preset to the settings necessary. You can see hi. <laughs> so it comes preset with the settings necessary to incubate eggs. So here, let's go ahead. Here, buddy. You wanna, you got it. That's precious cargo. Been collecting these over the last uh, two weeks, so. All right, set that down. Okay. Here, I'm gonna set it down right here, buddy. I'll set it down right there. So yeah, go ahead and set it down. All right. <laughs> okay, so let's go ahead. We've got a rag to soak up excess water if we put in too much water, and then we've got water this for humidity. Weird. Yeah, now this is a really cool, this is a really cool incubator. So, just to kind of give you guys a little once over, this is a forced air incubator. Um, once again, like I said, it's called the Genesis 1588 Hovabator by uh, Incubator Warehouse. And it is uh, actually, I don't know if it's by Incubator Warehouse. Pretty sure they are, but it's by GQF. So, this is kind of, this is the instructions. It came with a really great set of instructions and details. It was just, it was super easy to set up. So. I'm actually going to go ahead and turn, plug the turner in. Go ahead and plug that, plug that in. And then we're going to go ahead and open up the lid. So it's got one cap. I've already got the humidity and temperature set. So, but we've got the humidity set. And so we're going to go ahead and get this open. All right, buddy. You ready to help me? Come here. Okay. Alright. Okay, so what eggs are those? I completely know like here's Miss Cuckoo's egg, so we're gonna save hers for last. And um also um and Speckle's egg. Yeah, we should have uh -huh. we should be good. So let's go ahead. And eggs are so, dope. Some Americana or silky? These are the silky eggs. So this egg turner, it's really cool. So it's flat, like a sheet. So the eggs sit on their sides like this, and this rotates and it rolls the eggs back and forth, which is perfect for duck eggs. Good for chicken eggs, but it's more natural because eggs in the nest lay on their side. So we got our silky eggs. Let's go ahead and start laying them out. How does it rotate? Here, buddy, you wanna go ahead and place them? Go ahead. So you see how I've placed them? Uh-huh. So set them. There you go. And actually, hold on one second, hold on one second. You got the ones that are marked. We're gonna actually go back to the front. We're gonna do mm -hmm. these ones last. Cause they're the oldest. We're gonna go newest to oldest, okay? So go ahead and mm -hmm. grab the newest. There you go. This one didn't get marked yet. Mm -hmm. Doing good, buddy. So those are only going to fit, looks like it's only going to fit three in each row. Mm -hmm. It's okay. So just set that third one and then we're going to move on to the next batch. Alright, now for the Americana Sorry. eggs. Sorry, so Big cheap got stuck in my throat. You okay? Yeah. Alright, so these are the oldest eggs. So we're gonna start from the newest eggs, okay? So let's Which go ahead. Which would be right here. Mm-hmm. 
we go. And actually, let's take this one out. This one's got a little dirty. We want to put as clean as possible in. This one, see, this one's nice and clean. That's less bacteria. All right, okay. Now, um, actually, hold on a second. Let's take this out. And we're going to now swap. Here is Miss Cuckoo's eggs. All right, so here we go. We've got, okay, so we're going to start with um, Speckles' egg. Yep, go ahead and we'll place Speckles egg right down here. We got we just gotta make sure we keep track of that one. So we want that one we're keeping, that chick if it if it hatches, we're keeping that one. Wow, look at how big this cuckoo's eggs are. That's, that's a big egg. We'll know if we'll know if it's speckles egg. We'll know if it's speckles chick, because it'll have lots of speckles on it. Well we won't know because it's gonna be a cross, remember? True. Mm -hmm. so. Wait, black ostrilorps or crosses? No, she's crossed with a Splash Americana. All right, okay, so we've got, still got some room in here. So we're gonna add some extra eggs in to fill the gaps. We'll get... Okay, so the eggs, you get Americana eggs. We'll go ahead and uh, let's put some, yeah, we'll just do kind of mix it. Put a couple of silkies and a couple splash. All right, you want to put which one do we want? Silky or silk? Uh, grab one more silky. And then we'll do another americana. Yeah. Do we got room for another americana? I don't think we do. What do you think, buddy? You think that's enough eggs? Yeah. I think that's pretty good. Yes. That looks pretty good. Yeah. There we go. So we got that's a pretty good little rainbow of eggs set up. Actually, here we'll go ahead and arrange this. It is a rainbow. Here we go, we got Brown. it color coordinated now. So White. <laughs> our blues. Okay, so I'm really eager to see how this turner works because it's supposed to basically just slide it back and forth and the eggs roll completely. So let's go ahead, get them covered up. We go. Another reason why I'm really excited about this particular model is look at how big this top is. This gla this kind of like it's technically plastic, but this window to view in, you can see so much. So we could set up like we could really see everyone hatching. Isn't that going to be cool, buddy? Yeah. Yeah. So we're going to see be able to see everyone hatching. Maybe do a time. Maybe do some more time lapses. Maybe could even do a live. Wouldn't that be cool? Ooh. Wait, so well, we'll if we're going to be doing a live, it's not going to be time lapsed. No, it would not be time lapsed. That would be something we, if we did a live, we would be uh, setting it up when they are actively hatching. If anyone wanted to chime in and watch a live of them hatching, so we'll see. We'll <laughs> see. Okay, but why don't you go ahead and go get back on your schoolwork, okay? Because okay. I got a surprise for you this afternoon. We're gonna go do something. Yeah, it's work. Yeah, we're gonna go tour something really cool, something kind of exciting. He doesn't know what it is. Anyway, so I'm gonna keep y'all updated on the uh, chicks as they uh, incubate. We'll do a check-in and uh, yeah, we'll just keep it going. On a totally unrelated note, I really wanna give you guys a huge shout out and thank you. Well, I can't really say shout out because there's so many of you. Um, we broke 6,000 subscribers, which I am, totally humbled and honored that we have, there's 6,000 unique people in the world that are interested in following our journey. Um, so thank you so much. Uh, it's kind of cool because if you notice any difference, um, I'm actually vlogging on a new camera, which you guys made possible. So we actually just, um, what I've been vlogging on is actually my professional camera that I use for my photography and the quality is beautiful I still plan on using it but it is um, it's difficult to work with it takes a lot of time because I'm literally having to manually focus on myself there's no it, the autofocus feature on that camera is not good for video and um, 
it, and it's heavy to boot on top of that. So I now have a camera dedicated to the vlogs that has amazing autofocus. Um, we actually got the Canon um, M50 Mark II. Um, I'll, sh I'll share a link down below. Um, I'm really happy with it, honestly. I'm really, really excited to uh, continue using it, learning it. I've been doing a lot of research and um, we're still planning on using my camera for uh, some like B-roll, still continue putting out that really pretty quality work that you guys have come to love and enjoy. And uh, yeah, but this is gonna make it so much easier to vlog more frequently. And so we're gonna keep, keep up trying Oh, yes, buddy? What? <laughs> He's such a goon. We're gonna keep up, we're trying to keep up though with the two postings a week. We're now scheduled. Um, if you haven't seen the uh, notification in our community tab, community tab, I don't know where that would be on our page, but on our community tab, we recently announced that we, are, we moved our postings. It used to be we were posting every Wednesday. <laughs> we were posting every Wednesday. Um, now we are posting Tuesdays and Thursdays at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Um, I think that's 7 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. So those are our new postings. We're going to try and keep up with that. A lot of stuff is starting to happen. So, And now that we have the new camera, it's going to be easier to vlog. <laughs> so we'll keep up with that. actually got to call our uh, land clearing guy. I'm getting quotes together right now for people to do our house pad. It's a little bright in here right now. But I'm trying to get together quotes for um, getting our house pad for our house done. Hey, what are you doing? <laughs> little man's over there is doing his schoolwork. He likes to hum. He likes to serenade himself while he does his schoolwork. So, but we are, don't mind the mess. My office is an absolute, oh my goodness. Oh, it looks horrible. I'm sorry. Here, I'm just gonna, we're gonna pivot. Pivot. There we go. Okay, so, anyways, so, oh, now it's dark. <laughs> it's just, a, <laughs> this is difficult. We'll just open up, let a little light in. So anyways, I gotta call our land clearing guy and try to get quotes together for our house pad. And then I've also gotta call our uh, architect because we gotta get our floor plans. Our floor plans are supposed to be complete. So we're gonna get our Lulu. Oh, okay, I got a Lulu. Hi, honey. Hi, baby. Oh, now baby. you have a oh, and now I've got. Oh, goodness. It's a party. It's a party. <laughs> <laughs> oof, oof. Lulu, you're getting sandwiched. <laughs> so, we're going to get the quotes together for. Give me a little hot now. All right, okay. So we're gonna get the quotes together for the house pad and get our architectural <laughs> plans done from the architect. Um, so as soon as I saw that opening, I ran for it. I'm sure you did. <laughs> so um, if you guys have any questions about the home building process, I want to share everything we can with you guys. If you guys are <laughs> wanting to build a house yourselves, um, I want to help you guys because it's definitely been a learning curve for us. So if there's anything that I can share that might make it more accessible. Building a house is like very intimidating and a lot of people, there's, there's so many misconceptions in the world on what you have to have or be or do in order to build a house. And there is stuff coming to light that actually makes it seem like it's a lot more doable than people think. Hi baby, hi. I got a Lulu. I got a Lulu. She needs, she needs, oh, she needs the love. She loves the face cuddles. Oh, Lulu, what is it? What is it? Oh, I know. Oh, I know. You got your face snuggles. Oh, uh, did you get a, oh, no, I need more face snuggles. Oh, I know. Oh, I know. All right, go, go. Oh, <laughs> A few weeks ago, we got Miss Mocha pregnancy checked via ultrasound. So, um, if you watched the vlog, you know that she was confirmed pregnant. Hi, Sophie. What do you guys got all over your faces? So, since she was confirmed pre pregnant, we went back and we looked at the calendar and she ran with saffron 
from August to like December 1st. And while I don't think he did not get her bread until the uh, very end of them being together, she could go, she, she could kid as late as early April. So, and that's just because we just got really, really busy We've had, been doing a lot of stuff, so we just kind of just let it manage itself. Hi, Mocha. So, in the meantime, because we don't know when she's going to kid, and my luck given that I would take her back out to the pasture, and then she would kid, we decided to uh, bring her here. We've got the, uh, we've got them set up in two different paddocks. We have a fenced-in backyard that is kind of under construction that used to be a pool and uh, we tore the pool out now with, there's a hole in the backyard, but there is uh, grass and such that they can walk around and they've been in there for a little bit. Oh, does that feel good? And uh, so we're kind of giving them, a, I'm giving them a break right now. They're in this little, we got a little fenced in little area that we have so they can get some fresh grass. Hi, Sophie. So we've got her and Sophie here together so that Mocha's not by herself. Oh, Mo Sophie, are you feeling, you feeling a little sassy and cuddly? You just can't decide how you feel right now. So we've got them here in the backyard so I can monitor her, keep an eye on her, um, because like I said, the, my luck, the second I uh, take her out to the pasture, I will come out the following morning and there'll be babies on the ground. <sighs> what are you doing? Sophie, hi baby. You go ahead and babies. Oof, hi babies, you guys are so pretty. Yeah, Sophie, you look just like your mama. Yes, you do. So, actually, let me go ahead and I checked her. Yeah, no, she's still got ligaments. So, um, she gave us a scare. Um, I thought she was in labor at one point um, where it felt like her ligaments were softening. And then later that day I checked and nope, she still had full ligaments. Let me get these burrs out of your beard, baby. How'd you get them burrs in your beard? They've definitely done us a service here though. We had, uh, there was quite a few weeds growing in the backyard, so they've uh, done a good job. But uh, she's still fat as a tick. Look at that belly, mama. Well, that's not the baby side. This is not the baby side. This, that's the baby side. Let's see if we can maybe, they were, the babies were very active. Baby, babies, I'm not sure. They were very active. I wonder if we can, oh, I feel one right there. There's one right there. Hey little one, you gonna kick? Oh, no kicking today. Are you snoozing? I feel it, it's, it's right there. It's like right there too, I can feel it. You gonna be a good, you gonna figure it out this time around, mama? You had a tough time last time where you just couldn't figure out what motherhood was, but it reintroduced you back to so Sophie and you did a lot better. So you, 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 you got it this time? Oh, oh. Wait, wait. Oh my gosh, there might be two. Cause I feel, oh, it's kicking. Oh my God. Is he gonna get it? Oh, there it goes, there it was. It was very, very slight. I don't know if you saw it. But I feel, there might be two. Cause I feel, I feel something right here. And then I felt something under here. There might be two. Oh, there it is, it's right there. There's a little, there's a little, little, little bump right there. <laughs> But she has uh, definitely bagged up. She's got a little udder here. <laughs> Let's see your udder, mama. Yeah, see her. She's got her udders. They're definitely coming in. Ooh, she's full. Oh, mama. I know, honey. Soon, soon. <laughs> Sophie, are you gonna be her, uh, her, her doula, her midwife? <laughs> <laughs> Out at the pasture now, I just picked up Leon from his, uh, he had this uh, program that he started today. We have this program locally that teaches children, um, it's called STEAM, and teaches children about um, robotics, engineering, math, science, uh, coding, and uh, we kind of, we knew that that would be something he would really, really love. And so today was his first day and he 
loved it. He, um, actually today they made a robot named Milo. Um, and it was just a simple build. Um, I mean, simple in a sense, but they, uh, Ma Leon made him, coded him, taught him to do things, and then he had him drive. And there was like sensors. It was it was it was really really cool. It was really really cool. But he loved it. He had so much fun. So Leon's setting up the horse's feed right quick. I gotta fix Sky's fly mask. Sky, what you got going on here, girl? You're you're looking a little funky there, honey. How did you manage that? Here, let's fix that mama there you go is that better <laughs> so now that um, we've effectively got Annabelle dried off we're actually working on putting weight back on her she dropped a little weight um, back whenever Lexi was um, nursing on her and we just never got the weight back on her which it's dairy cows are notoriously difficult to put weight on so now we're actually now that she's dried off we're waiting for her to calve. Um, we're taking the time now to really effectively work on putting weight on her. So right now we're giving her rations of beet pulp, alfalfa cubes, uh, black oil sunflower seeds, and then grain as well, just to give her those extra calories, carbs, and proteins that she needs. So. That's what we're doing right now. I'm actually about to get her feed set up and soaking before I give it to her. Um, also, if you notice, we've got Brutus running with her. Hey, bud. You guys hanging out? You having a good time? Just chilling. Chilling out here. She's already starting to look pretty good. But we want to get her, get more cover on her. All right, got their food. Going to get it soaked in their feeder. Hold on guys, I know. You're so excited. I know, you know what's going on. You know. Also gotta refill their water. Their water's running low. But that's good, that means they're drinking water. We want them staying hydrated. Oh yeah. Look, I got the numbs. I got your numbs. Yes, I got your numbs. Here we go. Yum. That is full of cracked corn, black oil sunflower seeds, alpha alpha cubes. So they've got that that grain that um the uh, the roughage from the hay from the alfalfa. Then lots of beet pulp for the carbs, and then some grains for them. Just some extra carbs. See, that's he's excited. He knows what's up. He's like, yeah, give me some of that. Are you excited, Brutus? Annabelle over there just sitting and watching soon. Uh-oh, Leon! I think Hannah wandered off with the bucket. She's, uh, she's nowhere to be seen. Yeah. See, there's, there's Sky and Luke, and Hannah was there, and now she's not, but she's, she wandered off. Oh, okay. Sorry, bud. Hannah wandered off. We're going to have to go get her. You want to go get her with me soon? I guess we'll just go ahead and get saffron and waffle fed in the meantime. And, uh, then we'll go find Hannah. Hi, waffle. I know you're excited. Say yum. Food time. Here we go, guys. You guys, some numbs. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's get this. There we go. Here you go, buds. There you go. Happy goats. And we'll take this over to the other bucket. Goats. With goats, it's always the pasture is always greener on the other side. Even though you've got the same thing in that bucket over there, you want what's in this bucket because it's got to be better, right? It has to be better. It's always better. There you go. Oh, 
Yeah, is it is it is it better than what's in that bucket? No, nope, what's in that bucket is better. <laughs> there you go, Saffron. You got this one to yourself. We got the bucks back in the buck pen. I don't know if I ever, ever showed you guys that they've been in here. Um, actually, since we took uh, Mocha out to get ultrasound, so they've been in here working on clearing a lot of the stuff that's overgrown. Um, I got to get there now that they're starting to get down on the brush that's in here. I got to get their hay feeder up so they can get, um, so we can start giving them access to free choice hay like we like to and then the bucks will be all set in their bachelor pad. Mm, yum. Hi handsome. Wow Luke did you already? Hi Sky. Hi honey. Luke did you already finish your food bud? You scarfed that down was that tasty? I bet that was. You just sucked that right down. <laughs> Guy. Are you in love? <laughs> you got hard eyes, Sky. Well, I love you, Sky. I love you, Sky. Leon, you want to show them uh, Speckle? We talked about Speckle earlier in the vlog. You want to show them Speckle? <laughs> His. Chicken friend. His sweet old chicken. One of my best chicken friends. I have two, by the way. Only two. Oh, we got one out. Nah, that's okay. They can come out. Come on, ladies. You're excited, I know. And this is. Is this Miss Speckle? And you love you love Speckle. Mm -hmm. she She's one of my best CFs. Yeah. She's one of the sweetest chickens on our farm. If you want to know what best CF means, it means best chicken forever. <laughs> BCF? Uh huh. Alright, I think she wants to get down and go scratch around with the other chickens. You want to let her down? There you go. How many eggs we got? Six. Six eggs? Go ahead and get them out, buddy. Fish them out. Look at how many eggs we got in there. Can you get them? <laughs> Alright, here. Alright. Look at those eggs. Oh, they're so pretty. Maricanas. Maricana eggs, yeah. Maricana. Maricana. Yes. <laughs> because they're very merry. They're very merry. Alright. Silly goose. What is a chicken? <laughs> This cuckoo's egg. All right, we got empty nest. No more eggs. Run! The water's overflowing. Quick! So Leon and I decided, actually, kind of had an idea to name the, because uh, obviously the two we got Miss Cuckoo and um, Speckle because they were original chickens. So we were thinking about naming the Splash Americanas, going with like a Harry Potter theme. We were gonna name this one, that one has the least amount of white. That one would be Hedwig. So this one right here that has the, she has the least amount of flex in her feathers. That one would be Hedwig. So we just got to come up with names for all of them. So you guys know the drill. Leave a comment down below with uh, Harry Potter names that you guys think would be cool. And we need to come up with a name for our rooster as well. They've just kind of been chickens, but I thought, you know what, it'd be fun. Let's give them names. You want a name, big boy? Yeah. You're handsome. You're a handsome boy. Run! There we go. I got more water for you, honey. Watch out, babies. I wanted to show you guys something actually um, behind me. Oh, gentle. <laughs> Getting the chickens all riled up. So a while back we, um, oh, he's taken off. You, do you see her? Okay, well, a while back we actually, um, this behind me used to be like very overgrown with brush. This used to be 
like this. How dense it is. So it was just like this all throughout. You had all of these ferns, grapevines, blackberry, all different kinds of things. And they were completely taking over, suffocating the grass. And so we brought the horses and cows in, let them eat down a lot of this stuff, this undesirable stuff. I mean, it's not undesirable, but we want more pasture. We want more grazing lands. We're going on a hike. Okay, we're going on a hike. But we wanted, we wanted more grazing lands for our livestock. So we set the cows in here, we let them eat down a lot, and then we came in here with our lawnmower and mowed it down. We did have to come through and make sure there wasn't any like branches or things on the ground. Oh yeah, bud, it's wet in here. You're not gonna be able to walk through here. You're gonna have to, you're gonna have to go around. Why? Because, look behind you. Yeah? Yeah, this is all, look, watch. This is mud. See this? Mud. Ooh, yep, here you go. Starting to hit it. So this is where the wetlands kind of starts to take over. And it's kind of been weird. Yes, keep moving. Keep moving. Keep moving. Oh, okay. It's kind of been weird because this year this year it's been kind of weird because um this time last year this was bone dry. And um we really have not had much rain and um but we think that they're restricting water flow somewhere let, not letting the water flow south like it would normally so the water's just collecting here so we've got we've had a lot of flooding very unusual for us so where's hannah do you see hannah anywhere i don't see her i think i see hannah overhead oh, you think you see hannah yep i think i see her too she is, of course, all the way back in the pond. This is another area, actually, that we kind of reclaimed. And I just came through here and did another knockdown mow. And look at all this grass. Look at how the grass is coming in. It's eaten down really low right now because they've been in here. But all that grass, now that all that brush is gone, is able to get sunlight and grow. And ultimately, the goal is for it to grow to a height that it snuffs out a lot of the bramble and weeds that originally snuffed it out in the beginning. We're gonna go ahead and get Hannah's bucket though and uh, we'll go ahead and close out the vlog for today. So thank you so much for joining us and... Um, Short circuiting. <laughs> He's losing his mind over here. <laughs> <laughs>